Hey guys, it's Hornsky here, and today we're back here in Euro Truck Sim 2, taking a look at another truck mod, and I guess we'll also talk a little bit about the uh, Scandinavia expansion and update that's coming out very soon. Um, but yeah, so this mod, and these people aren't the mod, uh, in case you're wondering, but that's the mod over there, and he may look familiar to you if you saw the most recent and terrible Transformers movie, because that is, of course, Optimus Prime, or at least his truck, which I think was like a Western Star, or built by Western Star, or something, I don't know. I don't really care. Anyway, so that's what this mod is. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually, it seems to be based off of a Freightliner Coronado. Uh, at least that's what you get when you go to the shop. That's what it says you're buying, so it's a little bit weird. It's got three different engine noises. Um, a Detroit diesel, a Cummins, and a Cat. I think I've got the Detroit diesel in there at the moment. Uh, there seem to be versions of uh, engine noises from older mods, so I don't think they're the most recent ones of those engine noises, but like the most recent versions of those. But anyway, this one sounds kind of cool. That's, it's In my opinion, this one is the best sounding one, but of course, everybody's opinions are different regarding that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, you can see I've got it hooked up to this trailer. I'm not going to do the entire drive, uh, because it's a very long drive. This is like a 2,000 kilometer job. It was basically one of the only ones that I could get around here, so that's why I'm doing that. But anyway, so let's uh, let's jump in and drive this, and you can see the interior is different. I don't think I like it, to be honest. And with this uh, big kind of bonnet scoop sort of thing, it's actually difficult to see what's in front of you sometimes. Luckily with track IR, I can kind of move up and look over it. But anyway, so let's uh, go outside and see what this sounds like. See, so yeah, it's not bad. I've got the 18-speed uh, gearbox in this truck. There's a wide variety of different gearboxes and transmissions you can choose from. And one thing I will say about driving this truck, it has the turning circle of, I don't know, something extremely large, a very large house or something. This isn't a great truck for uh, maneuvering in small spaces, let's put it that way. Let's see if I can even make it out of here. Hopefully the trailer will straighten out enough. It doesn't look like it's going to though. Might have to go out onto the road a little bit or something. Nope, that didn't work. I'm actually pretty close. Might have to back it up a little bit though. Technically, it's not actually hitting, really. You can see, you can see space between that. Oh. It's always annoying sometimes getting the, uh, the oversized trailers out of these points, especially the ones that weren't really designed for it, I don't think. Like, they weren't designed for the wide loads. Not that this is a particularly wide load, but still. I just had a bad angle going out, really, and <laughs> now I'm, I'm a little bit stuck. All right, looks like we're going off-roading with Optimus Prime. I don't think that's going too well. N no. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. This uh, this play could have gone a bit better. What's happening to his front bar? Oh, it's just that push in front of it. I thought it had turned invisible for a second. It looks like I might have to cheat my way out of this one. That didn't take long, did it? Okay, there we go. All better. Let's try and stay off the, uh, the dirt this time, if we can. So, what I'll probably do is, um is drive this to the nearest town or whatever, which isn't very far away. Hopefully we'll actually drive through it on the map, or on the way there. Yeah, so once we get here to Brest, I'll just stop by the um, the mechanics and we can have a look at the different 
uh, options and noises and that sort of thing. There's really not very many uh, engine noises that are available. Oh, not engine noises, sorry. There's really not very many modifications that are available for this truck. Um, basically, it was mirrors, um, wheels, and that exhaust smoke that you might have seen earlier. You can actually turn that on or off. But yeah, apart from that, there's basically no customization available for it. There, you can do a fair bit of um, of paint modifications though, like different paint jobs and that sort of thing, which have some pretty cool effects on the Optimus Prime skin, like the flames and all that sort of thing. Because that, I guess that's kind of hard coded into the model. Um, so diff having different color choices means you can have some really different effects, and some of them are pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's continue down this dirt road. Might drop it down a gear and hit the engine brake because it's got a pretty cool engine brake sound. Okay, that's not bad. It sounds a bit weird doing it at really high revs like I did just then, but it's not bad. I have no idea where the road is in front of me. But we are, well, oh god, we're struggling getting up here. It's gone. Put the uh, parking brake on. I did not expect it to struggle getting up this hill, really, but whatever. It's gone again. Oh, I guess we're going back down the hill and starting that again. And that's the other thing, you can't you don't really have very good um visibility at the back when you're looking out the side window. But it's not really a big deal, I don't think. So how far back have we rolled? Far enough? Obviously we're jacked on I think the trail a little bit, so not exactly fantastic. Okay, we got it moving though. Might just have to crawl up here. I should be able to make it up. I think we're just in first gear at the moment, so should be able to make it up here easily. Now that it has a little bit of momentum behind it. There we go. Alright, that was not exactly what I intended on doing, but it worked. And this trailer weighs about 40 tons, so I guess getting getting the gearing wrong going up a hill is going to cause problems. It is a pretty powerful engine, this one. I think it's, what was it, 600 horsepower, something like that? It's the most powerful engine that you can uh, buy in the shop for this truck, so... Anyway, on the open road now. So as we're heading back to the town, it won't take very long to get there, let's talk a little bit about Update 1.17 and also the Scandinavia expansion. So Update 1.17 is actually in public beta right now, uh, which is pretty cool. And the launch date or release date for the expansion is May the 7th. So that's not very far away, that's what, a week and a half away, something like that? So um, yeah, we should be seeing that pretty quickly. Or soon hopefully as long as nothing goes wrong and I don't think it will uh, we should have that pretty soon so I'm not really sure how I'm going to test that out uh, in terms of like doing videos on it when it first comes out and everything I'm thinking because this profile this main profile that I use has um, so many mods and stuff and has used so many different map mods uh, over the course of time it's probably best to start with like a clean slate and um, you know so that everything is undiscovered and all that sort of thing so I might start a new profile and then maybe cheat it up so that it's at the current level that I am now, just in terms of money and levels and all that sort of thing. 
Um, or maybe I'll just start from scratch, I'm not really sure. I mean, obviously things like different, like cargo mods and different trailer skins and everything, that doesn't really matter too much. It's more having had Pro Mod and Rust Map uh, on this profile, I don't want to, you know, run the risk of screwing up the Scandinavia stuff because of that. It just blows straight through a red light there. But it looks like on the GPS we'll be taking a right up here and then we'll just head to the workshop and take a look. Stuck in traffic. But one thing that's pretty cool about this truck, uh, apart from me not knowing where the front of it is, one thing that's pretty cool is that a lot of the switches and stuff do work in the interior. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but if you look at that instrument panel on the right hand side, um, like all the switches and everything, when I hit the engine brake, one of those buttons actually toggles a little bit. I'm doing it right now. You might be able to see it lighting up red. Uh, you also got, you know, indicator levers and all that sort of thing, which all work. So it's, it's pretty cool. I'm just going to blow through this red light as well. I mean, I'm not sure about all the, the chrome and everything in the interior, especially the steering wheel. But I think in general, it works pretty well. But okay, so here we are at the mechanic. And I might just drop my trailer right here, so it makes things easier. And let's take a look at our different options. So we'll go to the upgrade shop first. And you can see nothing for the cab, nothing for the chassis. And here are our engines though, so we've got a lot of different engines. Uh, you can see, the, I think the yellows are the Cats, the reds are the Cummins and these grey black ones are the Detroit diesels. So the model I'm using now is 665 horsepower and 2,500 newton meters, which is pretty good. And they, they do go all the way down, so if you want to have like a really low power experience or something like that, you can definitely do that. Transmissions, we've got a wide variety of different transmissions. I'm not quite sure what they all are. Like, I guess it's a 6-speed, six 6-speed six retarder, 10-speed, so on. That's 13, and there's 18 here. These ones, uh, I'm not quite sure. They might be the default DAF ones. You buy this truck from the DAF dealer. I actually, I really don't know though. I think it would just be those OptiCruise key boxes. So anyway, it doesn't really matter. There are two choices of interiors. As you can see, this one's actually called the Coronado interior. Like I was saying, it's pretty obvious where this mod came from, well, what it's built on. Uh, so that one, the only difference that I can see is that this one adds a GPS screen like that. Um, I mean, this one has a GPS as well, but it folds out and has an animation. Like maybe this one doesn't have that animation. I'm not really sure. And here are our colors in the paint shop. You can see we can go black. If you look closely, you can still see the uh, the flames and everything underneath it. And then there as well. But I, I like this stormy blue one because you actually get, you still get the flames, but it's like the blue and black look. I think that looks really cool. Maybe that's just me though. And of course, we can, once we're in the paint shop, you can also see it's got the metallic options as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so in terms of customizations, as you can see, there's really very little. You've got the driver's plates there. You've got the smoke here, which you can turn on or off. So you can, see, if you can see that smoke in the background there, it's kind of blowing out the exhaust chips. You can turn that off. So that's cool. I mean, I like having the smoke, but it's always a bit weird with the mods in this game because the smoke's not supposed to be there, so it'll always be blowing, uh, even if the engine's turned off. So, there's that. You can do mirrors as well, I guess. I don't know if that's the mirrors that this had in the Transformers movie or not. I, I pretty much repressed as much as I could of that movie as soon as I saw it. Um, but yeah, personally I prefer it having proper truck mirrors, but if you want to have like car mirrors on it, you can do that. And then the wheels, just, well, obviously, just wheels. All the different choices that you're accustomed to. So there you go. And that's that's really it in terms of customization. In terms of customization, that's that's all there is. Um, it would be nice if there was a bit more, but then again, I don't think this truck really needs it, given it's all like pimped out and custom anyway. And interior, there's nothing in here extra. So let's back out of this. Yep, and we'll go to the paint shop. And as you can see, we've got choices of the custom metallics, so you can do your own thing or regular custom color and you also got some of the skins which can have a really interesting effect if you've got the metallic dlc paint shop so that, that looks pretty cool 
And yeah, so some of, some of these are really cool. You can have like the carbon fiber sort of effect, and it still has the flames and everything showing. That's interesting to play around with. Some do work better than others. And obviously you can change the colors and stuff, as you always would be able to. But I think I'm going to go with a stormy blue, and we'll see how this goes. And let's, uh, let's change one of the engines as well so we can hear that different sound. Let's just go for the ISX-15. So you can hear straight away it's a pretty different engine. And just with the turning circle on this, I'm not actually going to be able to get out of here without doing like a three-point turn. Or maybe even a four-point turn. <laughs> picking up the trailer, we'll just drive straight past it. Actually, am I going to fit straight past it? It's only one way to find out. I might end up bumping it out of the way. Oh, that's fine. Alright, let's do a high speed run down the highway. So out of the three engines, this is probably my second favourite. As I said, the uh, the one that I had in the truck before was probably my favourite sounding one. I'd say this is probably the second favourite. Uh, I think this is the same one that I used to use in one of the Peterbilt mods before the sound for that was updated by the mod creator. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. So let's uh, slam on the brakes before I run into this toll booth. This one doesn't really have the, uh, the loud engine brake or anything like that. It does have it, but it's a little bit more subtle, I suppose, if that's a word you can apply to this truck. See if I can turn around here. So that's, that's how much movement it is to turn around. And now we'll head back in the other, in the wrong direction. Because I didn't actually realise there was a toll down here as I was driving down. See, I mean, the truck drives pretty well. It's, um... I don't know if you'll run into any issues with it being so low or anything like that, but it, it drives well. Handles, brakes, stops, hasn't caused any crashes, which is always good. Let's just start braking here. Perfect. Let's see if I can make it in here without running into anything. So, yeah, there you go. That's, uh,. That is the newest incarnation of Optimus Prime, I guess. I think it's it's a pretty cool looking truck, I think. I mean, some of it's way over the top, but it's drawing from the movie, so I guess it's kind of faithful to that. Personally, I wouldn't really go for those triple uh, exhaust stacks or anything like that, but not a whole lot you can do about it. So the mod link will be in, uh, on the video description, as it always is. As for the next Euro Truck video, I think it will probably be when the Scandinavia expansion comes out and uh, we'll just take a look at that, go through it, see how it all is. Apparently a lot of stuff should be updated and changed around for that, like there'll be different graphics uh, options and that sort of thing, or the way things are rendered will be slightly different, so the game might actually look a bit different to how it normally does. So that should be pretty cool to check out. But until then, I think I'll end this one here. So I've been Bonsko, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.